the Sikh Human Rights Group. In furtherance to our report, a HRC 49 NGO 107, we would like to respectfully remind the international community that young people, women and girls and other disempowered and marginalised groups are invaluable and unappreciated human resources that have largely been ignored by international institutions, state governments, prominent environmental organisations and agencies, and to some extent by mainstream civil society. When integrated into a pluralist approach to tackling environment issues, these otherwise disenfranchised communities have directly and significantly contributed to constructive and productive outcomes. For instance, in 2018, Norway adapted a new local government act which requires all local and regional authorities to establish free councils to represent young people, older persons and people with disabilities. Around the world we see that countries who provide platform voice and respect for diverse approaches and knowledge inputs seem to be incrementally gaining the fight against climate change. In South Africa, one of our affiliates, the Department of Indigenous Knowledge Systems at KwaZulu-Natal University, has successfully recruited Indigenous knowledge to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Consequently, the Sikh Human Rights Group very much encourages prominent state governments from both the Northern and Southern Hemispheres to take plural and diverse approaches. History shows that when politically and economically powerful decision-making bodies integrate and coordinate actions towards achieving a common objective, with the less advantaged and marginalised cultural communities, the results are better and quick. 